Hey guys, it's Sister and I'm back with a picture day makeup tutorial. As you can tell, this look isn't too unique or um, outlandish, but I wanted to include a, a cool video with some tips and tricks for picture days and getting your picture taken in general. Um, I'm not exactly sure when everybody has picture day because I'm homeschooled and I haven't had my pictures taken for a yearbook since like fourth grade, but um, I figured I'd do it at the beginning of the school year, that way everybody could see it in time for their pictures. Uh, so if you want to see how I did this look and some tips and tricks along the way, then stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so I pinned my bangs out of the way, that way I wouldn't get any face makeup on them. And the first thing I'm going to apply to my face is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is going to help your face makeup stay on all day and uh, prevent any sort of greasiness or splotchiness before your pictures. Next, I'm going to apply my Tinted Moisturizer, and this one is by Laura Mercier, and I'm in the color Almond. Now, when choosing a Tinted Moisturizer or foundation or BB cream to apply, I definitely recommend one that doesn't have a really high SPF. This does have like an SPF 20, but I would say anything above 30, and you're going to end up with a really weird glare on your skin. Um, because the way that SPF works is it creates a reflective layer on your skin, so when the flash hits it, it's going to reflect and you're going to look kind of ghostly. It's happened to me and it's not pretty, so that's why I try to stick to relatively low SPFs when choosing a uh, tinted moisturizer. Rubbing this between my fingers and applying it straight to my face and blending it in. And I'm not applying any to my forehead because my bangs cover that. And what I like to do afterwards is go over with a beauty blender sponge and that will take away any of the finger marks that I've left behind. Next I'm going to be applying concealer. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW25. Now this is a concealer I don't use on a daily basis because it's rather heavy. But for pictures and whatnot, I definitely go for a heavier concealer. Um, just because it's one of those occasions where I would prefer to have a little bit too much concealer than too little. Um, so now that I look certifiably crazy, I'm going to go in with the Sigma Precision Flat P80 blending brush and buff that out so that obviously I don't end up looking like this. Now I'm going to set the tinted moisturizer and concealer with the MAC Studio Fix powder in C4, and I'm going to buff this in with a really large uh, fluffy brush. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, fill in my eyebrows because your eyebrows frame your face and I want mine to look nice and clean. So I'm using the Sumita uh, Brunette Brow Duo. And this is just like a powder setting thing, so I'm going to take my angled brush and fill them in very lightly. And I want them to be thicker but not cartoonish, so be careful when applying uh, eyebrow powder or gel or whatever. And you, be sure to use really light, small strokes. Next I'm going to prime my eyes using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion in Sin. So. This is a metallic base because I'm going to have a single metallic color soon. If you're going to use eyeshadows, I would definitely recommend using a mixture of both matte and shimmery colors. Um, I'm using gold because I think that's what complements my eyes the best, but whatever you want to do, go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to apply this to the very center of the eyelid and buff it out. Next I'm going to be applying a matte brown color. Now applying this on the crease will make your eyes appear rounder because the matte color is, isn't, is going to absorb all the light and make it sink deeper, whereas having the shimmeriness on the center of your eyes will reflect the light and make your eyes appear rounder. So these two work together to make your eyes just look rounder and bigger and whatnot. Next I'm going to apply eyeliner. I'm going to be using some gel liner from e.l.f. and this is in dark brown. Now when using eyeliner for pictures, I would recommend using either dark brown or charcoal gray because the black liner will look too harsh with your eyes and it will just create like a really weird ring around them. So um, dark brown and charcoal gray look soft but they still define your eyes really well with flash photography. Alright, so next I'm going to curl my lashes and apply the Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara from Maybelline in Blackest Black. 
Now you definitely want to curl your lashes just so that they appear really, really perky and uh, just really full because I find that curling my lashes before applying mascara helps uh, the mascara work a lot better at separating and whatnot. So definitely recommend curling. All right, so next I'm taking this really pink matte blush. I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks. Um, I find that using matte colors matte blush colors for my face works best with flash photography because my face tends to have tends to be really oily so any of the shimmer just creates like more shininess on my cheeks which I don't want but if you have dry skin and you don't have any problems with oiliness then um, by all means use a shimmery blush tap 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 Next, I'm going to highlight my cheekbones using this white eyeshadow. I'm going to tap that along the cheekbones above where I placed my blush. Now, this is an easy way to sort of contour your face if you have uh, trouble using bronzer and whatnot. So instead of adding shadows, we're going to add light. But if you do want to contour, I have an entirely separate video on that. So I'll link that in the video here or in the description box. Next for lips, I'm going to be using a really pretty pink shade. I'm using the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in 090 Sweet Tart. So this is probably one of my favorite colors from that line because it's really pink, it's really vibrant, and it's not too overbearing. So I'm just going to apply that straight to my lips. Next, I'm going to be playing lip gloss, and I'm using the Jouer Lip Gloss in Tender. So it's a peachy shade, and it doesn't exactly match the one I'm wearing, but I like it because it's matte and doesn't contain shimmer. So I'm going to apply this to the very center of my lips to add fullness, or the appearance of fullness, I should say. I really like using this technique of applying lip gloss just to the center of the lips because it reflects the light and makes your lips look more plump. I would refrain from using lip gloss in, on your entire mouth because it creates a weird line from like the border of the lip gloss, um, especially with flash photography. So I would just refrain from using it on your entire mouth and just uh, strategically applying it to the very center. One tip I have is before you step out of your house, go ahead and test run your look by using your camera, your phone to use flash photography and take a picture of yourself to see how you come out. That way if you see that your blush is too much or you know anything else then you can quickly fix that before you leave. Above all, just smile. Think of something funny or think of a, a nice memory that you have and use that to sort of uh, create a very natural smile. The, the kind that takes up your whole face and makes your eyes crinkle and whatnot because those are the most beautiful kinds of smiles. Don't say cheese because you'll end up with a picture like this. And I don't even know why photographers still say that because saying cheese is not that flat. So that was a makeup tutorial and all the tips and tricks that I have. I really hope this helps you and that you enjoyed and I'll see y'all next time.